established within the project management it is the utmost importance that a project's objectives are steered clear, started stated clearly rather, as will impact every decision in the project life cycle. So this could be your deliverables, your schedules, your budget, uh, any other pertinent information. So just if a question says, what is the purpose of a project objective, something like that. Okay. No, this is not a multiple choice. This is a short answer. I just remember. So it might say define and expand on a project objective. So what is a short answer? It's not one sentence. I would say a short answer is like three, four yeah, paragraph, right? Uh, everybody's depending on if you have run on sentences about three four sentences right that's going to be a, a, a project so a question like this would be a short answer I'm pretty confident you know what I'll give you guys benefit right here if you've got a solid uh, hundred dollar bill I'll share this with you right now <laughs> no, 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 no. Could change my car. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, one twenty for No, no, no. Uh, so, uh, real, sh real quick. I know my stories are annoying sometimes. But last semester, I'm putting the exams together. I print them, and I solicited my 15-year-old to help me. So she's helping me. She starts looking through the test. She took the test. She took the med. She did less the essays, and I think she got a 35 out of 40. Probably because she hears me talking about it. Right? She kind of looks at it, and it's, I think, six pages or something. She goes, if I got a hold of your students, I'd probably sell this thing for like 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so I spend all that money to send you to Catholic school, and you're selling tests. Well, I guess she's an entrepreneur, but she was contemplating where to get my student list from. Um, yeah, this may very well be a short answer. Just like I said, so something like be aware of what it is, but understand how a project objective may be employed, if that makes sense. Does that reason the question, Rainier? You wish I had glasses so you could look at my optical reflection. <laughs> Refraction. Okay. International project management. I'm just going to lecture on this real quick because this is long. Um, there is a case. This is the long answer, and this is worth a lot of points on your uh, exam, where you're going to have a scenario. It's, it's just like your case studies. There's a scenario of a company that's going global, and you are the uh, global manager for a company. I'm going to ask you to set up a new manufacturing facility in a country doesn't matter what country it is, but maybe it's somewhere in South America. What kind of steps would you take looking at global management um, and international project management? What would you be aware of? I want you to give this one some effort because it's worth, this one question is going to be worth about as much as your multiple choice. So the reason I do this, again, I've said to you guys before, some of you may just blow the multiple choice. Multiple choice can be confusing. We build traps into them. I hate it. I'm sorry. I hate multiple choice. I wish it was oral essays. Some of you don't like that either. But um, let's understand. So globalization changes the dynamics of a project. It adds a layer of complexity, right? Multiple layers of complexity that can adversely affect the project outcome if a project participants are not aware of what they might encounter regarding cultural differences and multinational economic transactions. Talked about this stuff, right? Talked about Brazil. This was class two, maybe? Three. What, what sort of problems we have when we go international? We're an American company. We're gonna go do a project overseas. What kind of project complications, let's say it's a non-English speaking country, and what kind of project complications might we have? Currency. I heard currency? Okay. Language. Currency, language, language. culture. 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 Yeah. Keep going. Then um, did I hear you say something? Yeah, I, she said already language barriers, culture. Yeah. So, yeah. So I hear war over here, and I'm like, well, no, nah, that's silly. But okay, what if I what if I signed up for something to do something in Ukraine two three years? Do I want to bid? <laughs> thinking, oh my gosh, there's no problem. And now I'm like, oh, now I gotta go build a nuclear plant in or or a car company in, in Ukraine. That could be a problem. So 
you could look at, and so part of that issue is political unrest, right? So we say stuff like customs and rituals. Um, maybe you're going to go to a country that, you know, let's say Saudi, Saudi Arabia. You're going to Saudi Arabia where they don't perhaps want women in certain parts of a building. Well, some of my best Saudi people, Arabia is different for women, actually. Okay, let's say Iraq. So that's more dangerous. Yeah. So let's let's pick companies, the countries that are going to be dangerous for our company to go into. Um, legal ramifications, right? We have legal ramifications, cultural issues. Um, I talked about greasing the wheels, bribery. Um, Brazil was the example I used, right? Going into Brazil, yeah, you're not. I can tell you firsthand, trying to go into Brazil, it was very difficult. And once we realized that a certain percentage of the assemblies had to be in Brazil and that certain people had to be paid off, we stopped. Okay? It, it becomes a whole different world than what we're used to. Logistics and planning, right? Do I have the right people? I have lang I heard language barriers. Uh, applicable standards and testing. So in the United States, if you're working on certain projects, we follow EPA, we follow OSHA, we follow FDA. FDA. If you're working with electronics, you've got UL. If you go into Canada now, which is pretty much USA light, uh, or USA Little, uh, over there they follow not UL, they follow CSA. If you go to Europe, they follow CE electrical guidelines. So if I'm doing some sort of electronics project and I didn't anticipate it and I was going to build it to a standard. So talk about those kinds of things, okay? So again, you are going to be, and I'm telling you the question pretty much, you are the global manager for a, a company with a global expansion. Talk to me about what 